All right, guys, welcome to the channel. Today, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, show you exactly what happened. Uh, pretty excited about it. Got the rock lights installed on the Duramax. I'm just going to do a quick brush up on exactly how I did the install. I know it's a little bit dark. I just got off work, but man, I, I'm going I'm to show you guys exactly how this worked out. Um, basically, what I ended up doing is I installed an app. Uh, it's called RGB Remote. Let's go ahead and unbox this really quick. So it's going to come with your instructions. That's the contents of the package. It's going to come with your module. It's going to come with your negative and positive right here, which you will be having to run to a power source of some sort in the, into the uh, engine bay. Your twist clips right here that you're going to be installing. All right, so that's what they look like. You're going to have four of them. And I'm, I'm basically going to go ahead and just tack, tack, tack these one under each wheel well. So that's how I'll be doing that. And by the way, guys, big shout out to Big Mick Tuning for giving me these rock lights. They're really awesome. Uh, it's a great company. I've been working with them for a little bit now. And actually, these rock lights are pretty inexpensive. I would say the most time-consuming thing is installing them. I would say it took me about it took me about an hour to install these rock lights. So it really wasn't that bad. But just doing the job correctly, making sure the wiring is run correctly make sure there's, that it's not rubbing against something metal to where it can ground out and have further issues but uh it's a time consuming task but i think in the in the long run it's going to look pretty nice i'll go ahead and do a quick night shot for you uh down my driveway but also at the end of the video i'm going to go ahead and do mellow time really quick um i want to i wanted to hit on that because it is the end of the month but uh but if i don't say it at the end of the video, I'll make sure I reiterate this. If you guys are interested in purchasing a, uh, purchasing a set of McTuning Rock Lights, I will leave their link in the description below, so make sure you check them out. And, you know, very inexpensive product. It, gosh, I think it was only like 60 bucks, so it wasn't too bad. And I'll also show you guys a cool night shot at the end. It's getting a little bit darker right now, so I can pull the truck out of the garage and show you guys how it looks. But basically, with the app right here, it's pretty simple. You're really just, whatever color you want, you can easily select it and it'll change colors things like that um, but one thing that I will tell you guys that's pretty cool about this is uh, I will not be driving this truck in public with these rock lights on I won't do it unless it's at a car show um, or something or an event or in a parking lot or something like that where I'm ba basically sprucing up the channel a little bit because I think this is pretty attractive you know when I'm doing drive-by videos or just t trying to do fillers well uh, I'm adding more content to the channel. I think this is stellar for it. It's an A+. Um, yes, I have some pretty cool lights on the truck, don't get me wrong, but not a big huge fan of the colored lights constantly um, showing them off. I don't think it's really a big thing for me. But what I will say that's practical about the rock lights, about, about the McTuning rock lights, is the white. The white LEDs. I'm an installer, guys. You know that. I like to install um, stuff on my diesel truck. If I'm trying to find more lighting to get inside of the, the uh, engine bay, it'll actually give me a little lot more light to work with. So when I'm actually inside of the engine, I can actually use the lights for what they're you know for what my purpose would be for to actually get in there and you know be able to see a little bit better. So that's pretty awesome. I'm actually more excited about that than this right here. You know what I mean? Although it may look cool, it, sh it serves no purpose for me. That serves a purpose for me because you know obviously it's white, so that's pretty sweet. Um, but let me show you guys what I did because again guys this will not be an install video I will have you actually before I do that um, I will leave a link in the description from Kyle's channel from Backroad Diesel's channel um, actually I'll just go ahead and post them all uh, I think Kyle did a pretty good job I think Bertrand 850 did a great job on his rock lights so I'll leave those those links in the description um, and then JW he, he also did his so you guys can get a better point of view if you have a Sierra so basically, uh, if you guys want to get really detailed on how to install that, Kyle did an amazing job. So a uh, big shout out to him. So watch his video. Let me turn this light on. You got to get a better vantage point. But what I did is I drilled a hole underneath there. And then I ran the existing wire through this wheel well. And then, you can't see it, I tucked the wiring pretty well. Uh, and then what I did is I ran it through the cross member. So basically all four wires feed right to the center of the truck where the skid plate is that, or the uh, heat shield that covers, that goes right over the exhaust pipe. I actually have it mounted up inside of the exhaust shield is what I ended up doing. 
and you know tucked it away make sure everything looks pretty and then of course for it not to fall uh, and then obviously wrap around your drive shaft if you wrap it around your drive shaft you, I don't have to tell you guys so just make sure you guys do this the correct way and make sure it's clean so basically right now guys it is semi dark outside I will go ahead and pull the truck out I'll turn the rock lights on so you guys can see it and then we'll get to mail time Hopefully the camera will pick it up, but I think I'm pretty impressed with it. This is, this is looking really nice. I love how it uh, illuminates the ground like that. It's pretty cool. It's really neat to see this in person. Got all my LEDs on too, just so you guys can see that. Kind of matches. All right guys, so here we go. I got two. First one is from Aeromotive. And I'm pretty sure why they sent me this. Okay, uh, so Aeromotive, right here. They sent me a catalog and a few brochures. But basically this company right here, they sent this to my PO box. Um, they sell the best lift pumps uh, that money can buy possible. They're better than Fast, Air Dog. Uh, actually, I talked to the sales representative and I, and I talked to their company about, about why they sent this to me. If I called them, I'm like, hey, why'd you guys send me you know, pamphlets and stuff like that? Um, that company right there, I don't know if you've ever heard of LeVon Miller. If I'm not mistaken, he, he actually hit the world record for uh, the Cummins on the horsepower and torque. Uh, he owns Fire Punk Diesel in Ohio. Um, but anyways, he's running the Aeromotive lift pump. He used to use, I think, three lift pumps, and then um, now he's, he's reduced it down to just one uh, Aeromotive lift pump. So I'm gonna be possibly doing some work with this company right here. I did talk to, again, you know, their company. They may be sending me the, the product to uh, basically get hands on and explain this to you guys because I want to do some more research. I'm excited. I mean, they have the cat filter and uh, I'm not going to go exactly why they're a better lift pump than any other lift pump. I'm not going to go into that because I actually, I really enjoy my fast, but this is more or less for higher horsepower applications. So if you're running a, a compound setup um, or, you know, a bigger turbo or bigger injectors and, you know, you're trying to push more fuel, um, this is, guys, this is the way to go, man. So very exciting product here, right, right here. So I may be getting a little more involved with them. I'm not sure. Um, so I'll keep you guys uh, in tune for that. Uh, next, I got a package from Brock um, <laughs> from Tennessee. Uh, he said, open on video. That's pretty cool. So, so I'll go ahead and do that right now for you guys. So um, Brock, hey, man, I appreciate it. Thank you for sending me this. We'll see what this is. Okay, looks like it's coming from a younger guy. All right. Oh, this is great, Brock. I'll go ahead and read this to the subscribers right now. Oh man, that is so cool. Look at this, he drew me a picture of my truck. Thanks, buddy. You did a really good job, man. Good job. That's really cool. He's got the rock stars on it and the mirrors, the tow mirrors. and. Wow, I could have never drawn a picture this good of my truck. So good job, buddy. Oh, <laughs> look, back road diesel. Check it out, Kyle. Did you your truck too? Nice. Hey, truck master. My name is Brock Schultz. Uh, you have an, you have encouraged me to make my own channel. By the way, I am 12 years old. Uh, I live in Lawrenceburg, Tennessee. I love your videos and I love working on trucks. I have watched your videos since you had about 600 subscribers. Thanks very much for that. I always work and put mods on our 2012 6.2 liter V8 Chevy Silverado. Very good engine, by the way, and a very, very awesome truck. Um, I just started two channels and was wondering if you could give me a shout out and hope you like the picks. Uh, please give the other pick to Kyle. Um, 
and then please, if you can send an autograph back to me, that'd be great. Hey man, I'll send I'll sign an autograph for you, dude. No problem. Um, so he's got two YouTube channels and an Instagram. Uh, YouTube channel Brock S, and then the YouTube channel BNR Garage, and then his Instagram and his Snapchat. It says read on video. Twelve years old, awesome buddy. Hey, keep it keep it coming, man. YouTube channels, they're. Uh, if you guys ever tried to start a YouTube channel, this is a lot of freaking work, guys. I'll tell you what, man. I didn't realize really what I was getting myself involved in until I started really actively making a YouTube channel and giving you guys content. Um, it is definitely, a, I would say, a full-time job, especially if you're posting two or three videos a week. It, it, even if you're a regular where you're posting once a week, which is actually very good, um, it's definitely a chore. So uh, appreciate that, buddy. Uh, thank you so much, and I'll give that picture to Kyle. So anyways... Um, the light bar giveaway which I have right here okay uh, this will be going to one lucky subscriber um, which basically what's gonna end up happening is the video where I ripped the where I was opening the door with my truck uh, on that van if you guys watch that video I will leave actually I'll just leave the card right here um, so just watch that video all I ask for you guys if this is your first time stopping into the channel I want you guys to subscribe if you're not a subscriber already but if you are well you're a one up on that end Watch that video, give it a like, and then basically drop a comment down in there. You could put something in there like, I, I plan on putting the light bar on, you know, X, Y, Z, you know. The giveaway for the light bar will be happening at the end of February, so make sure you guys uh, like, comment, subscribe on that video. And also during that time when I do the light bar uh, giveaway, I'll announce the winner of that. And then um, if you feel compelled to send me a letter or something like that, you don't have to do that to win the, the light bar, but if you guys want to add to the mail time, uh, just like my buddy Brock over here sent me a letter. If you guys want to do that, or if you guys have an Instagram, a YouTube channel, whatever you want me to shout you guys out on my channel, I will absolutely do that for you guys. Just make sure that you send that. I left my P.O. Box link in the description. Further things to come for the Duramax. Uh, well, finances are sort of getting a little tighter, okay? I'm not going to sit there and blow all my money on my truck. Um, now, a lot of these things... That I'm not gonna sit back and you know I'm not gonna hold anything back from you guys. I, you guys deserve that. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the products that I do receive, you may already know this, but a lot of these are sponsored, so they send products to me. I do product reviews. If they suck, they suck. I, I'll, I'll I'll definitely tell you that. Don't get me wrong. Um, but in general, I haven't really received any products that were horrible. You know, um, but what I do is I uh, I do reviews on on a lot of things, and you know I explain to you guys. If this is something you're interested in, you can buy that. So like the McTuning Rock Lights, which are very exciting and awesome. I really like those. Um, I will leave their link in the description. So if you're interested in buying that, buy that. Uh, this isn't going to be a complete promo channel. I'm not going to continually to do that constantly to you guys. Because really the channel is really based on informative how-tos. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, I'm putting out content from my, from my knowledge of Duramaxes to hopefully help you out because a lot of you guys are the experts. A lot of you guys are actually a whole lot smarter than I am at Duramaxes, but I'm just posting content just to help, you know, the, the overall diesel community, man, because that's what we're all about, you know what I mean? Um, but anyways, uh, yeah, so finances are a little bit tight right now. The Duramax is, I mean, yeah, you saw me drive it in, the, in, in my driveway or whatever, but the Duramax is down. Um, you know, that Y bridge, those, the bellows on that Y bridge is, I'm sorry, I stand corrected. The bellows on that uh, on that up pipe on the passenger side is uh, they're freaking blown. I mean, I can't drive that truck right now. I'm basically what I'm doing is I'm waiting on the parts to come in, and then I will be doing the install video, hopefully shortly. Um, but right now it's going to take me hours to install that part, so I don't have time for that right now. There's a lot of things going on in my life right now. Um, you know, hopefully I can get around to that, but uh, I'm hoping, I'm thinking, you know, the truck's going to be down for about two weeks, guys, so I'm hoping that I can finally get it back on the road, and I'm just, I'm just super pumped that I'm going to eliminate that that additional Y on that up pipe and just have a straight flow, you know. Now, I will only be doing the passenger side. I will not be doing the driver's side right now. Um, there's a lot of things on why I don't want to do that. Uh, number one would be if I snap a bolt in the turbo pedestal, and I just don't have the, uh, I don't want to say capability, because that's not, I do have the capability of removing studs if I snap a head on a bolt, but I really don't want to spend the extra time doing that, because I'm telling you right now, I I guarantee you I'm going to snap a bolt if I pull both pipes at this point. So, um, 
when it gets warmer outside and I have the funds to do it, I will be doing both passenger and driver side manifolds. I'm hoping that eventually I can work my way up to that. But right now, the only thing that's uh, practical is, is to do the actual um, up pipe on the passenger side. I want to just get that done so I get the truck on the road and continue to create more awesome content for you guys. But hey, that'll close this video out for today. Tell me what you guys think about the rock lights. I'm really pumped about that. Um, and if you haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel if this is your first time. I really appreciate your guys' time and your support. You guys have a great day.